Deixa explicar. O Indeca então é um boy que pra subir na vida agarra a barriga do rico. Winde, ah, winde, oh papá, winde, ah, winde, oh papá, ah, ah. O Indeca também são aqueles juiz que só querem damas de carteira cheia. Winde, 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 ah, winde, oh papá, winde, ah. Mas como é o Winde que então quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, hum, fica só já. Winde, 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 ah, winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Winde, ah, winde, oh papá, winde, ah, winde, oh papá, ah. Winde que também são ah. aqueles juiz que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem ah. qualquer business. Winde, ah, winde, oh papá, winde. Ah. Tell me, Aturu, are you sure that this catering is the best? That they know how to prepare those elegant food? You know, those label tea from Jose Mercado, from Chef The Shine. Is the food good? Pastor, one of the owners is called Yuri Masano. He's also a model and has done a few jobs for Devo. In any case, I want good, beautiful, and cheap, and more, and I only accept Christian prices. This catering has catered for some events at Devo, and everyone loved the food. Uh, all right. Then let's see if this Yuri will answer. Hassan Sal, I don't understand you. Tomorrow you have to go to court and you're here drinking beer. Oh, woman, relax now. Why don't you take one for yourself, huh? Me? God forbid. I am going to pray to Mother Mushima and ask her to help us. You answer that phone. Look, you know I don't understand. The taxes, the taxi penalties are all paid. I don't know what more that judge wants. Yuri! Look, I believe that nothing bad will happen tomorrow. Hmm? And you should also believe the same. Mwah. I know you very, very well, Sansal. And I know you're scared of jail as I am. Oh, Yuri, answer that buzzer, please, son. Thank you, Mama. Hello? Greetings. Am I speaking to Yuri Masano? Yes, speaking. I just want to know what will happen if you go to jail. Hi, woman. Ho! Oh. Give me a minute, please. Mama. Papa, I'm trying to talk on the phone. Look, Nazare, enough of this competition, please. Sorry, my son. Yes. What's it about? I'm calling about your catering services. I've been told that your company prepares worthy food of licking fingers. Could we schedule a meeting? Hey, Have you done your homework yet, children? Yes, Mama. And then why is Miss Lukeni in front of the computer? Can you possibly tell me? I was only looking for something on the internet. Some things? Yes, about the basketball championship. Ah, did Mama know that the national team of Luanda lost? Lukeni, the other day I read a horrible article about the internet. Lukeni, I do not want to see you browsing on that thing. That's because Mama doesn't know, right? It's like this. When Mama learns, I can't guarantee you won't want anything else. <laughs> Lucane, switch that off. Now you two go immediately wash your hands because dinner is almost ready. Huh. And I don't want to come back here again. Mm. You have to be more careful, Lucane, you hear? Mama almost caught you chatting with Pedro. Mama already knows that we are friends. She knows you are friends, but she doesn't know that you participated on the Kudoro concert, that you do a show and Pedro is helping you find a place to rehearse, right? No. She can't even find that out. Let's see what advice Pedro has to give us. I'm tired of thinking and I only see one solution. What solution? Wait, he's writing. Look any, look any, look any. That will not be good. Mama stay for business from St. Pedro, and it is all your fault. He... I don't know if it's a good idea. Then what did he say? That there's only one place that I can rehearse without raising suspicions. What place is that? At school. Have you had a good night, darling? How are you, Ophelia? I hope your day was fantastic. 
Nothing special to report. Aha! That means that you still haven't found a house to live in. I hope you know, Ochi, that the deadline for you to leave this house is still valid. Don't worry, I'll solve that problem by the deadline. Then I hope you really resolve it and that it's your intention. Excuse me, I have to get ready for dinner. Zilla, come here. Have you seen that one? Aye! I hope to resolve this issue on time. The horror. And Madame didn't believe Miss Kusala. Between saying that and saying, I, I don't know where to go at the moment, I, there's a difference, Silla. I don't know, therefore she might possibly find the house. If she thinks that, I'll have pity on her pretty low polished English face and continue to allow her to stay and enjoy in my house, Silla, she's sadly mistaken. Will Madame have the courage to put her on the streets? Or failure force might look like a saint from heaven, but I won't offer the other cheek. Right, miss. It's just that the lettuce is a bit bad. Don't worry about that, Yeda. We can go without lettuce for one meal. And you can buy more tomorrow. Hi. Did you come alone? Unless you're seeing a ghost beside me. It seems that way. And Kiluanji? I'm not feeling very well. I'm going to my room. Can you at least tell me where my brother is, or don't you know? <sighs> Maybe it's possible Uncle Wilson's plan went well. Could Kiluanji and Anna Maria have made up? Atur, I've scheduled a meeting with the Catherine Moffat. Very soon, my church will open the word. Dinner is ready, kids. Yuri is trustworthy. The food is great. I just don't know where you'll get the money to pay them. Don't worry, Atur. God's ways are mysterious, and our Lord knows how to take care of his students' needs. <laughs> Look, so it's like that. If I knew that faith brings money, I'd have converted to God a long time ago, instead of being dedicated to the bodies and souls of women. Aye, 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 women, women. Beautiful, divine creatures. And speaking of women, Today I met your friend, Cassia. Yes, I was going to talk to you about her, and I met with that angel from heaven. Ha, huh, okay, good for you. Look, she said you can give me her number so I can invite her to the Global Church of the New Horizon. Ah, yes? You and your ship, Cassia, have caused me enough problems. But no, son, how could you schedule a meeting for tomorrow? Mama, I couldn't allow a new client to escape. But did it have to be on the day your father is going to court, son? Tomorrow, I have to be very early, early. And you know how, how these things with justice are, Yuri. You never know how long it takes. Papa, I won't allow this man to escape. If I have no time to take care of it, no problem. Jojo will take care of it. <sighs> it's a feeling. A little voice telling me that something is happening to Anna Maria. Oh, Marisa, I don't understand your doubts. But didn't Anna Maria go to Tokyo with Gabriel? I've explained, Jojo. I got the impression that she was inside the car when she called me. Do you think something may have happened? Oh, well, I don't know, but Kiluanji went after her. He said there was nobody in the house. Yes, but he... I understand. You were hoping that when Anna Maria called you, for some reason she might be coming home. Not so? And meet with Kiluanji, is that it? <laughs> Pedro, the door. Not now, Dad. Pedro. I'm a busy making a pasta. Open the damn door. Not now, Dad, but Dad, I'm... Leave the computer and open the door. Quickly. What nonsense. And how are you, Pedro? I'm fine. You've come to see Marisa, right? Yes. Is she here? At last, Kiluanji. So, is everything okay with you? Yes. I mean, more or less. Listen, I wouldn't pretend like I don't know what's going on. What are you talking about? Uncle Wilson told me you went after Anna Maria. And a while ago, Victoria arrived in a bad mood. Luena, you know what? If you have something to ask, just ask. You and Anna Maria, did you make up? Tell me, Kiluanji. Please tell me. Sorry for coming like this. I'm glad you're here. I was really worried. 
Marisa, I really need to talk to you. Pedro, can you leave us alone? Hi, Ana Maria. How are you? I'm fine, Giorgio. Pedro, did you remember the bathroom door? Huh? Me? It's loose. We need to tighten it. Huh? Let's go. I always get the end of the stick. Pedro washed the dishes out of the sitting room. Pedro tightened the screws. By the way, what happened? Oh, Marisa, you... You can't imagine how my life has been the last few hours. I knew it. I felt it in my heart that something was going on with you. You know, when I called you earlier, I wanted to tell you that I've decided to go to Tokyo yes. with Gabrielle. Yes, of course, I heard that. But after the line dropped, and I couldn't speak to you. But if you have decided to go to Japan, what are you doing here? I decided to go, yes, but not today. I need time to organize my life here in Luanda. And I told him I'd come when I'm finished. And did he agree to that? He agreed, and everything was quite fine. But then as I got back to the house, bam, I see Kiluanj. Was he still there? He was. And you won't imagine. What happened? Oh, Marisa. He asked me for another chance. And then? And then he kissed me. What? You kissed him? No. He kissed me and I... Wait, wait, wait. What does that mean? That you and Kilwanja are together and you're not going to Tokyo? I won't change my mind, Marisa. Why not? Marisa, I told Gabriel that I'd go to Tokyo and live with him. Yes, but... There's no but here. I made promises to Gabriel. I asked him to find me a job, to make space in his wardrobe so I can put my clothes. All right, but that was before Kilwanja spoke to you, told you that he loves you. What kind of woman do you think I am? I mean... I spend the afternoon making love to Gabrielle, planning our future, and then go running to the arms of Kilwanji. Ah. You can't be with Gabriel when you're still in love with Kilwanji. He should have spoken to me long ago, Marisa. Look at me. Tell me that you didn't feel anything when he kissed you, that your heart didn't beat fast, that your leg didn't shake. You understand now? I really don't understand. How can the two people that love each other not be together? I don't trust Kilwanji. Ah, that's an excuse. It's not an excuse, Marisa. How can I trust a man that one day decides to marry my sister and the other says he loves me? People make mistakes, confuse their feelings. I won't leave Gabrielle, who's always fought for me since the first day we met. Because of Kilwanji, who changes his mind like he changes his clothes, that's final. I went to see Anna Maria, yes, but you didn't come to an understanding. And why is that? How's that even possible, Kiluanji? Two people that love That's each other... That's very simple, Luena. Anna Maria is organizing herself to go and live in Tokyo. Did you tell her you love and you want to be with her? That doesn't matter. She's going to live with that Brazilian she just met yesterday. And I'll move on with my life. What does that mean? That you insist on this stupidity of asking Victoria to marry you? What's this, Victoria? I just want to know one thing. Do you want me to stay? Or do you want me to leave? Oh, well, I don't know what to say. I insisted that Kilwanche should come after you. I thought you wanted to get back together with him. Kilwanche doesn't make me happy, Marisa. And with Gabrielle, things are different. Everything functions. <sighs> Tell me one thing. Do you love Gabriel? He makes me feel good. He's funny, That's loving. That's not love, my friend. Sometimes, love isn't enough for a relationship to work out. Is that what you really believe, Anna Maria? Or you're just saying it to convince yourself? There's only one truth, Marisa. Gabriel never doubted what he wanted with me. With him, I smiled again. Then you'll stay with him because of gratitude, is that it? I like him. And I know that with him, I can be happy. And Kiluanj, are you telling me you don't like him? I thought he was the love of my life, but I was wrong. I don't want to be with a person like that. Are you sure you won't regret that later on? I've made my decision, Marisa. Think carefully. This could be the last opportunity for you and Kilwanji to be together. He was too late.
Respond, Victoria. Why did you pack your bags? Where's this coming from now? You're asking me. Oh, calm. Oh, be calm, Victoria. Be calm, be calm. You promised that you won't get involved in this game. Be calm. What are you talking about, Victoria? I won't ask you why you left Devo with Cassia and didn't tell me anything. <laughs> what? I don't want to know what you discussed with your uncle, which made you run off again. Victoria. And you know why? Why I don't want to... Because I know you went to see Anna Maria. Can I talk? I don't want to know. For what? What explanation are you going to give me to go running after my sister? Victoria Anna Maria. After asking me to marry you. I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you went after her asking her to stay. Or should we anything? I only needed to know. I just want you to answer one question. Do you want to continue here? Or should I leave? What's it going to be? Oh my god, look at this. My hands are like butter today. Uh, look at this. Good morning, my love. Look, any today is anything else but good. Why? What's wrong? I burnt the bread instead of toasting it, and now I spilled the milk. Oh, be careful. Don't sit there. It's dirty. I haven't cleaned. Shh. Have you made coffee? Yes, I did. It's here. You must be feeling sleepy, that's for sure. Me? Yes. Why? You think I didn't notice? The way you spent the whole night quiet like a rat. You didn't wink an eye the whole night. Ah, Nazari, I'm tired and naughty, Mom. Ah, Sansal, stop that. I know very well that you are scared about this cottage as I am. I am. And you know why? It's all because of you and this uh, fear is after you, mm -hmm, Nazari. But Sansal, I'm just worried. That's me, all. Me too, woman. But will it help to pull hairs which I don't have? No, ne? Yes, Jojo. We're leaving for court now. I can't come with you, huh? Because I'm at my fair too. There's no need. Look, a guy called yesterday about our services. He'll come by Mufete. But I don't know if he will be there on time, huh? Don't worry. I'll take care of everything, huh? If you need anything, you must call me, huh? Good morning. If you get any news from the court, call me. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. I Excuse love. Me. Were you talking to Yuri? Oh, well. I'm really worried about Sansao. I really hope there's no problems at the court, otherwise, Nazar is going to panic. Excuse me. Yes, that family must think they're facing a disaster. Uh, I don't know. If Sansao has to go to jail, I'm sure that Nazari won't be capable of uh, working. And you can't be without a cook. No. Especially now, huh? With this event of the show of Kaduru, this a new client is coming. Could mean the end of the business. Look, look who's here. <laughs> All cleaned up, new suit, smelling good. Good morning, brother. The evangelist that can't seem to keep his mouth shut. Did you really have to tell her through about me and Cassia? I don't understand why this unworthy insinuation of a child of God hinder. Huh. You don't understand? You really want me to explain to you, though you were very stupid? What is your problem, hinder? Yes, unless you are in a relationship with that angel self from heaven. That has to be kept as a mortal secret. Sebastian, forget it. Forget it. But get one thing in your head. From today onwards, worry about your damn church and don't interfere in my life anymore. Wait, won't you wait for Atul to go to Devo? I have an interview scheduled. Bye. What? What do you think you're doing here? Can you tell me? I, I came to visit you, Mom. I can't put up with that hospice. Cassia, the physiotherapy. 
I have to play this role every day? Of course you have to play the role every day. If the objective is for you to get close to Kiliwanji, you have to act like a poor thing every day, every hour, every minute, every second. Oh, Mom, but, but now... But nothing, Cassia. Don't wear me out. Don't give me a headache, my girl. How many times do I have to explain the same thing? Stop eating. Stop eating. Get back to the Voss house. Oh, Mom, but why but now? But nothing. Come here. Stand up. You will go back to the Voss. You take your future husband, go with him to the physiotherapy and pull the dying number. The dying number every day, like we agreed. Understood? Now, go. Go. Come here. Out. My case. Out. Out. I hate this. Useless. <sighs> Ah, oh, son, enough is enough. But, Mama, I'm not done. Ah, oh, son, you should be done. We have to go to court now. No, no, Mama, you no. Wait for us. It's just a second. Oh, Paula must be outside waiting, you people. See, if your father is late, then we'll have real problems, Yuri. Ah. I'm going to be waiting outside. Hurry up, my people. You see now. Rest assured, Sansao. No one will send an ugly man as you to jail. Look here, Paolo. I'd also love to be as confident as you are, man, Pa. But each time I think of being locked up in a cell somewhere. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I'm Ricardo Levesinho. You know, don't you what you have to do? I'll do what we agreed upon. I'll drive the car, and Bomba will collect the money. Let me go and get him okay, now. Okay, make sure he does a good job, huh? Oh, leave it to me, Sansao. God willing, tomorrow you will be on the steering wheel again. You know what you have to do in case I'm arrested, don't you, Paolo? That surely won't happen, Sansao. Oh, listen, Paolo. In case that actually happens, you take care of Lovenzio as though he were yours. And don't forget, give the money to Nazari, understand? Bimba. Bimba. Call me later when you have news about Sansao. I want to know what happened in court. Of course. And Anna Maria? Allah, sorry for what happened yesterday. You and Pedro were darlings. Ate in the room and everything. Uh, you were talking until uh, late. I didn't even notice you getting into bed. But how is Anna Maria? She's really going to Tokyo. But wasn't Gabriel leaving for Tokyo? He did. She decided to stay behind, to sort things out at Devo. Take care of the house, the car. Uh, then that means that she and Kilwanji... Didn't come to an understanding, Jojo. He asked her for another chance, but Anna Maria told Gabriel that she would go and won't change her mind. I know that maybe that was not the outcome you were looking for. I understand the reasons of Anna Maria, but she still loves Kiluanj. That means that she won't be with him. Kiluanj will end up with that Viper Victoria. Hmm, that I don't know and I don't want to know. For me, it's over, Jojo. I'm officially out of this story now. I simply cannot wait to see Victoria put that engagement ring on her polished finger. Hmm, Madam Ophelia, lately you haven't been speaking of anything else. Are your earrings itching, you creature? Eh? <laughs> no, no, they are not, Madam Ophelia. Uh, if it was up to me, the engagement of Victoria would be tomorrow. Silla, the thought of having to wait until my wedding anniversary day moment seems like a lifetime. In the midst of this whole story, there's something I still don't understand. Only one? <laughs> when Victoria gets engaged, she'll tell you where your ex in law is. That was our agreement, why? And then you, madam, will know the whereabouts of Madame Zora. And then? And then what, Miss Stupid? What is madame going to do? Just go there and ask her about the secret that Mr. Wilson and Mr. Javier are keeping? <laughs> like that? Out of the blue. Ha, 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 ha. I see, la. What a pity. Sometimes it's hard having a conversation with you. But it's my fault, my God. Why do I forget that you were born to clean, cook, wash, and not to think? Oh, Madame Ophelia. Mm. Of course, I won't go there and ask for information so abruptly to you, Sarah, right? Hmm. And then so? And so, firstly, I have to get to her, meet with her and discuss a couple of times, gain her trust, and then attack with force. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Wilson. My husband, hmm. um, I was ironing the suits you generally wear to the magazine and have decided to get them clean. What for? 
For the two simultaneous events that will follow, our wedding anniversary party and the engagement party for Kiluanji and Victoria. Ophelia, if I were you, I wouldn't haste. What do you mean by that? Maybe this engagement won't come to pass. Victoria did what? Yesterday, she told me to go fetch her suitcases and locked herself in her room packing all her clothes. Then that means that... That she's gone? That I don't know. Today, I haven't been to Master Kiluanji's room. Has my brother come down? Good morning. Good morning. Yeri told me that Victoria was packing her bags yesterday. It seems that if you're a maid, you have to gossip, right? So you've come to your senses, right? What do you know about senses? Kiluanji, tell me that regardless of losing Anna Maria, you sent Victoria far from your life on this house. Please, my brother, tell me that's what happened. Victoria packed her bags. She was devastated because I went after Anna Maria. <laughs> that poor thing. She must have been really devastated. If regrets could kill, I should have never done that. Of course you did. You went after the woman you love. I've told you. That story is over. Be that as it may, if you went after Anna Maria, it's because you don't like Victoria. You can't marry her now. Luena, please, I'm not in the mood, all right? Please listen to me, my brother. Can't you see that this woman is only after your money? No, Luena. I don't see any of that. Victoria is my friend. She worries about me. If she weren't after your money, she'd live. What kind of woman stays with a man that's after her sister? She was really hurt. She cried a lot, you know. Ah, it's all pretense, Kiluanji. She planned everything, packed all her bags to corner you, so you'd be the one telling her to stay. You really don't know, Victoria. <sighs> Brother, tell me that you didn't fall for that cheap emotional blackmail and that you did what you had to do. I did what I had to do. What does that mean? That you sent her far from this house? What's that about, Wilson? Why are you saying that Kiluanji and Victoria might not be getting engaged after all? I told you that it's a possibility, that's all. No, Wilson, no. I know you well. For you to be saying that is because you know something and you don't want to tell me what you know. Ophelia, can we change the subject? No, 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 until you explain what's behind this new conversation. Good morning. Good morning, Chisola. Wilson, are you going to Diva? Not yet. My husband and I are having a discussion. Serious. There's nothing more to say, Ophelia. Chisola, if you want to lift, yes, let's go. Yes, I do. See you later, Ophelia. Good morning to you, Ophelia. Wilson, don't think you'll escape me. I'll find out everything and all about this conversation. Mm -hmm. That's bad luck. So won't there be an engagement anymore? That's what we'll see soon. I'll get to the bottom of this, you'll see. Who are you calling now? The best way of finding out everything about this rumor is finding out from the source. Hello, Ophelia. What's the drama for you to be calling me at this hour? I should be the one asking. What's going on for Wilson to think that your engagement with Kiluanji might not happen at all? Did you fight? Did you guys separate? No, Luena, I didn't send Victoria away. What the hell came over you to continue with a woman you don't even love? Victoria is young, beautiful, and loves me. That for me is enough. Enough how? How is that even Stop, enough? Stop, Luena. I'm with Victoria and I'll stay with her. I really don't agree And with that's her. final. There's nothing you can tell me that will make me change my mind. What does that mean, that you asked Victoria to marry you? Yes. The day of uncle's wedding anniversary. My goodness. Moreover, Today I'll speak to Dad and ask him if we can have both parties together here at the house. Excuse me. Okay, do you now understand what happened? Our plans are as firm as a rock, my darling. That's what matters, Victoria. All right, all right. We'll speak later, my beautiful. <laughs> what happened then, Madame Ophelia? What calamity came over your nephew and Victoria? It was just a passing rain. Everything is fine now. Then your nephew, Kiluanji, you really get engaged? Yes. And I'll continue looking at some clothes for the party. I've sorted out everything for Wilson. Now I'll sort out the kids' clothes. Oh, that's good. And will Madame need my help? I'll need help from God. 
between the model wanna be daughter of mine and the skinny who wants to be a kudere son of mine, there's nothing useful. Listen, Pedro, this idea will still give us problems. And then it's not a good idea to be at school rehearsing. Lukeni, it's the only way you can rehearse without anyone suspecting anything. What are we going to tell my mother? Because I'm sure she'll ask why we stayed at school later than usual. I don't know, say something. Extra lessons, rehearsals for the end of the year show, group work. You don't know my mother. Madam Ophelia is terrible. You know those scary police dogs that sniff? She can smell a lie a mile away. If you say that it's a compulsory at school, she will never get suspicious? Yes, even if she believes it, we have another problem. What? What will I say to the school to allow us to practice here after hours? Is there nothing more for me? No. Anna Maria, is she all right? Anna Maria, is she coming? Why wouldn't she come? Mm -hmm. Because yesterday I heard rumors that she was going away to Tokyo with her boyfriend, Gabriel. She is? But in a while. And Henda, hasn't he arrived? Your friend will be coming in later. He has an interview. Sometimes I get the impression the people working in this magazine only come for coffee. You must have fallen from bed, Victoria, and arrived early. I'm very professional now, dear. I have to organize the material for the report for the new talents in music. Well, I'll be in the studio when Anna Maria arrives. Tell her to come see me. Can you see a hand of some other journalists from Devo? How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. First of all, I'd like you to know it's a pleasure interviewing one of the most beautiful singers in Angola. You're very kind. I should be the one thanking you for the invite. Oh, what's that? Excuse me. Please have a seat. Thank you. Can we begin the interview now? Great, let's do it. Yes, Mom. I've just gotten home now. Well, then, take Kiluanji. Take him with you to physiotherapy, you hear? The more time that you spend together, the more he'll pity you. You still think that Kiluanji will leave that crazy Victoria and marry the terminally ill? <sighs> yes, yes, I already know that, okay? We'll talk later. How annoying. The issue of Victoria is close between us, Luena. Papa is my last stop because he would never accept your engagement to that, that gold digger. Mr. Shavia can control everything. But my love life is completely different, Luena. We'll see about that. Victoria has gone to the magazine and I also have a lot to do. And I want to do something with her later tonight. You can have dinner dates, go to the cinema, plan the best honeymoon in the whole world. But you'll never be happy with I'm her. I'm going to Devo. Bye, Luena. Hi, Kilo Angie. I'm glad you're still here. I'm on my way out, Cassia. I'm going to Devo. Yes, but I have another session for physiotherapy. Now? Yes. You're going with me, aren't you? Look at this right, Pedro. What are we going to tell the teachers so they can allow us to stay here after classes? So, there's a lot of people that stay for extra lessons or for sports. Yes, but that's different, Pedro. I want us to use the school premises to rehearse the show of Kuduro. What Mama doesn't know about, the teacher won't find out about it. We have to find a good excuse to give this teacher so we can stay here after school, or otherwise... Wait. What's wrong? I have a bright idea. Then tell us. Everyone knows that I came from Portugal and have difficulties adapting in Luanda, right? And what about it? What if we say that we'll stay at school until late so you can help me? For sure. Help with what? To integrate. Will say that you teach me about Angolan culture so I can feel more at home. Ah, all right, so you stop being revolting. Yeah, it's a great idea. Kanisia, after your successful single, Yelelelelele, Kanisia, did you dedicate some time to your next work? Yes, that's true. And what are your expectations? Well, naturally, I hope to be very successful in my career. 
Okay, okay. On that note, how has the reception been for your new single, Take Me Higher? It's been very good, very positive. Great. Your career must be on the fast track. Yes, I'm excited. You promised, Kiloanji. You said you'd help and support me in this very difficult stage of my life. I know, Cassia, but I can't go to physiotherapy with you now. I have to get to work. But I'm not strong enough to go alone. Get into that office and go through all that torture again without you. Cassia, I already have things scheduled for today. If I arrive later, Devo, I'll ruin everything. Oh, yes. All right, then. If you're not going, I'm not going. You have to go, Cassia. It's for your own good. Let's do this. I'll go with you next time, all right? Go with Akilo Anji. I have to go to Devo. You'll work until late. I have things planned for tonight. So what you have planned is more important than the well-being of Cassia. <sighs> Kilo Anji, please listen to your sister. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll inform Victoria that you'll be coming later. Hmm? So, shall we? If you're going to Tokyo, you have to submit your resignation. I know. I'm going to speak to Lorena right now, so she can look for someone who will substitute me. It won't be easy finding a photographer like you, Ana Maria. I already have a few names to suggest. Hey, pa, that's what you call eagerness to go, huh? I want to go be with Gabrielle as soon as possible, Marisa. Good morning, my dear. Hello. Good morning, Anna Maria. I have a message from your sister for you. She said you must go see her in the studio when you arrive. Ah, but be careful, Anna Maria. By the look of things, she's capable of biting you when she sees you. Careful. I'm sure she already knows that Kiluanji came after you. <sighs> and is Luena here? She just got here. I need to talk to her. She is in a meeting with Madame Chisola. Okay. Then tell me the minute she's in. Can you do that? Okay. So, aren't you going to speak to Victoria? Do you know what interests me about what my sister has to say? Nothing. So, Anna Maria blew your brother off. Kiluanji asked her to stay in Luanda, but she said she's going to Tokyo. And Victoria's in the midst of all this. Look, she played another trick. Packed the bags and said she was leaving. And your brother? He didn't allow her to leave. And he even proposed the game. But of course, that's exactly what she wanted. Then everything remains the same. He'll announce his engagement on your uncle's wedding anniversary. Look, Luanji will speak to my father about that tonight. I just hope that Mr. Javier will put an end to this madness. Well, if Anna Maria is leaving, she must formally resign. Look, I hadn't thought about that. It's a pity. Anna Maria is the best photographer in this magazine. Wait a minute. What's wrong? You've just given me a brilliant idea. What idea, Luana? I think there's still a chance Anna Maria will stay in Luanda. How? I'll be back. Luana, what are you going to do? For now, I'm going to give a little pinch to my darling friend, Victoria. Do you want something? No, no. I just came to give you a message from Kiluanji. He sent me a message? Yes. He said he'll be coming late to the magazine. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. And why? Because of Cassia. You went with her for treatment. See ya. I won't wait for that idiot to die slowly. You'll see, Cassia. You'll see. And if I don't end these meetings with Kilwanji. And it's now. Right. Now that the interview is done, we can feel more comfortable, hey? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you a secret. I've always wanted to interview you. The first time I saw your photograph, Canisia, mm. I've never forgotten. <laughs> you know how first times are, ne? Right. Please feel free. Nah, 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 that's not important. Don't worry. You're very polite, but I really have to go. Canisia, what's this? Now that the conversation is getting interesting, exciting, <laughs> don't do this. Thank you very much. 
He will inform me when the interview comes out. Won't you? Bye. What do you want, Victoria? Oh, you only call me when I'm doing something important, hey? You're really a spoiler, Victoria. I'm important, my darling. We really need to talk, yes. You have to move with the Cassia plan. Do as you please, but go ahead with it now. I was working, Victoria. You can't be calling me all the time. What is it? Don't you know that I also have a life? Stop complaining and listen. Cassia has a leash on Kiluwanji, and the dog is behind her. What do I have to do with that, sorry? That has to end. Call that dying woman and do what we agreed. You're acting all macho for her, right? And she's crazy about you, right? So take her to bed and do a checkmate on the situation. She's sick, but not dead yet. Yeah. Windeck ah, também são ah, aqueles juiz que só querem dar ah, mais de carteira ah, cheia. Windeck, 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 ah, Windeck, oh papá, Windeck. Ah. Mas como é, ui? Windeck então quer dizer o quê? Ui, se não estás a compreender, hum, fica só já. Windeck, 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 ah, Windeck, oh papá, ah. Windeck são aquelas boas que até vendem a irmã para ter vida boa. Windeck, ah, Windeck, oh papá, Windeck, ah, Windeck, oh papá, ah. Windeck também são aqueles juízes que para ter champanhe e cumbu fazem qualquer bicho.